Hello, my It is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom video. And my honestly, it feels like I haven't played this in months, which is kind of accurate, considering that I played this last time, right there, as you can all see, on October 14th. <laughs> and it's already December 2nd, I'm actually recording this, uh, right? Uh, yep, December 2nd, just making sure it wasn't the first. Um, so, yep, my as you can see, there's the auto save that the game does give you. And it's the regular save file that you can create yourself. And since it's about uh, about 11 seconds further, we're just going to go ahead and play that. Alright, there we go. Ugh, excuse me, sorry about that. I was just eating some uh, mini powdered donuts. <laughs> they are so good, especially with milk, but I can't eat that many. Alright, but enough about me eating my donuts. Let's help. Let's get let's get on the, with the video, alright? Come on, come on, come on. So, let's see. Search for the suit. Equip your sword and pistol and arm the armbands and speak with... A Renella, all right. Now, if you want to make it to the most of your, if you want to make the most of your weapons, you really need to quit them to the arms band. You can do this by opening the menu and selecting equipment and skills. Equip your sword. You need to assign them to melee weapon slots, and for your gun, you'll need to you'll need the range weapon slot. Okay. Equip them both, then come and speak to me again. All right, no problem. Let me just move the mic a little bit because it was a little crooked. Sorry about that. Alright, so let me see, um, is it this one? Okay, this is the map, so this is all that we've explored so far. Let me see, N wait, what was that? Um, nope, nope, I don't need that. Let me see, how do I do this? So, um, if you, if you haven't tell, I am really, I, I'm still new to, um, Xbox, I'm um, not Xbox, <laughs> PS4 controls, basically. Let's see, it's like this, nope. Alright, Evan's room, that's where we were at the start of the gameplay, then we went all around here. Alright, let's see, so, um... I'm pressing all the buttons. Okay, that's jump. Circles, jump. Maybe I have to hold the options? No. What? <laughs> Why is it telling me um, for that? I don't understand. Maybe I have to go actually here? Alright, that's good. Um, no, I just started the gameplay. Is it skills? No, I doubt that. Lights, I am really, really confused why it's not taking me anywhere. No, I don't need that. Mike, it's only taking me to this right now. I'm not understanding this whatsoever. I guess we just have to go out of the room. Is there any way to do that? Can I? Let me see. Um, now? We're going rolling. Equip your weapons to the arms ring. How do I use the arms ring? <laughs> Mike, I don't know how to use the arms ring. How do I do that? I'm pressing on so many things. No, it's none of that. All right. Options. All right, let me see. Is there anything in this chest? Can I open it? Nope, it's not like Minecraft, unfortunately. Uh, might I might have forgotten. Wait, is it the? Nope, that's not the button. That is not the button. Nope, nope. Go back, go back, go back in there. Is it this? Oh, okay. So it's the giant square in the middle of the controller. All right. So let's see. Equipment and skills. Alright, each character has five numerical parameters, um, which indicate the various strengths and aptitudes. Um, or aptitudes, I guess you could just say. Let's see, melee attack strengths that will have powerful any attacks and abilities using close weapons, um, more close range weapons will be. Alright, so that's the sword, the bow, which I probably will not be good at. <laughs> uh, range attack strengths tell you how powerful any attack and abilities using long range weapons will be. Alright, magical attacks. Ooh, okay, we got some magic in the game. Magical attack strength tells you how powerful any magic attack or abilities will be. Um, physical defense tells you how resistance that character will be to physical attacks, which will affect how much damage they take. Okay, is so that going to be magical defense? Uh, yep, I knew it. And lastly, magical defense tells you how, the, how resistant that your characters will be to magical attacks, which will also take effect how much damage you take. Um, character parameters... Parameters are calculated based on characters, natural stats, plus those of your equipment. Not all weapons can be used by everyone, but armor and accessories can. Okay. See, so I've got a broadsword, which is 29 um, attack melee damage and 11... Um, what what was that? The magical one? Oh, no, not the magical one. That was... Um, damn, I already forgot. I forgot about that one. I forgot. Let's see. So this one is the overall best choice, the broadsword. Let me see. Yep, and it looks a lot new, so we're gonna go equip that. I suppose I didn't equip, um, and equip that one as well. Um, no other ones right now. Range weapon. I do have a sidearm right there. 
Alright, any skills? I don't have any skills yet. What about armor? Do I have any of this? Nope. Alright, so I don't have any of that whatsoever yet. Alright. See nothing. We have items. Saw away. Okay, I guess I don't need that right now. What about the quest? Any quest? Search for the sewers. Alright. Everyone want to join by... So, just read this quickly, Mark, so that we can always can pause the video while I'm talking right now just to get caught up. Or, you can just go on the playlist that I have created. And if there's no playlist yet, then I'm sorry, I will create a playlist, alright? Don't need the library, I'm pretty sure we're good right now. Alright, when you have multiple melee weapons equipped to the arms band, you can switch between them with L2. Alright, that's gonna be handy. Maybe they might be broken or something, who knows. There are various reasons why you might want to switch weapons, but the main aim is to try and always be using the... the um, using one whose Zingog is always close to 100% as possible. Okay. Your weapon Zingogs, um, or Gogas, are displayed next to them in the top left of the screen and will gradually fill as your land blows on enemy. You can choose between the three settings which will govern how weapon switching is performed. Manual, semi-automatic, the default setting, or automatic. In manual mode, you will need to press R, um, I mean L2, every time you want to switch weapons. This mode is aimed at advanced players who want maximum control. In semi-automatic mode, you will automatically switch to a weapon with high attack power or zing after a skill is used, but will also have still have the ability to switch manually. In automatic mode, you will be, be unable to switch manually, If um, but can be sure that you are always using a weapon with high attack power or zing. This can be helpful for beginners. The weapon switching setting can be changed in the equipment and skills menu, and also by pressing options while in battle. Find the settings in which best suit your style. Are, I think I'd rather go for the manual, only because I feel like that's more fair for me. And I'm always more of a melee-based fighter, anyway. There are a few more details even how to use seeing what systems works that will also need to be explained, but this can wait until you learn some skills, okay? There we go. So, what is that? Alright, so that's how you switch. Okay, so we go out here now. Wait, um, to the arms ring. Haven't I already done that? I've already done that. Alright, there's everything you equip to your arms band. Equipping multiple weapons to the band will allow you to switch between them quickly and easily, even in the middle of a battle. So, if you happen to come across any more, be sure to put them on there. Thanks. Thanks. I will. Evan, this is for you. We got Evan's Essentials, okay. What is it, Ella? It's not exactly the best quality, but it's all I can throw together at such short notice. It should be enough to help you get by for now. I put an arm span in there for you too. As long as I'm with you, I'll try to see that you don't need to use it. But if anything does happen, I need you to promise me that you'll stand up for yourself. You cannot give up, do you hear me? Of, of course, Nella. Alright, might. Here we go. The Black Knight might be dangerous, but we're not safe here either. Alright, I'm gonna use my weaker sword for now. Alright. Should I go... Let's see. Let me see the map real quick. Alright, so that's, that's the blue. Wait. Alright, so we should be going this way, I suppose. Alright, here we go, might. Where is he? Not here, luckily. Now's our chance. But look at all those soldiers! No surprise here. Covering the exit is a standard procedure in a situation like this. The entrance to the sewers is down the corridor on the far side of the, con of the courtyard. Alright, we'll need to sneak through. Alright. Let's see, alright. Here we go, okay. We're gonna have to sneak through, I suppose. Honestly, I was hoping for a fight, but it looks like we have no choice. Alright. Alright, that's jump. That's the super slash. And well it's just jump. I'm guessing that's just some sort of guard. Alright, let me check the map real quick again. Alright, yep, that's what we have to do. Alright. Um, how do I get rid of it? Alright, there we go. Nope, cannot go in there. Alright, no one's paying attention to us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, which room? This one? Huh. It's just an ordinary room. Yeah, it's just got like, a bookcase, a mirror, there's no sewer entrance anywhere. It's not a manhole cover or anything. An ordinary room with a secret door. There's a switch around here somewhere. 
Um, okay. Oh, it's gonna be one of the classic books that you just pulled out. I never used it myself, but I believe it's in the hidden bookcase. Oh! <laughs> I knew it. Gosh, look at that. This is something like out of a movie. Exactly! Alright. She's right. Let's get moving. Oh, alright. Looks like autosave. Stock in here. Tread carefully. Alright, come on, Mike. Here we go. Man, out of nowhere, become a mayor of Tokyo or Japan or wherever it was, and now here we are in some weird realm. Full of mouse and gopher people. Nella. Why would Mausinger start a rebellion? Is it because I became king? Oh, Evan. I doubt it. In my experience, these things are never quite that simple. Aranella. I couldn't help notice a certain species divide between the two sides of this conflict. Yes. Relations between the Grim Mulkins and the mice have never been entirely civil. King, Le King Leonard... Um, did his best to heal the long-standing rift between the two, but let me guess, things didn't go so well. Oh. Father, <sighs> you'll have to forgive him. It's all still very raw. Hmm. I can imagine. By the way, Evan, there's something I have to tell you. It's about your father, Chancellor Massengor. Poisoned him. What? Poisoned him? No, he died of an illness, Nella. A rare, untreatable illness. Nor according to Mousinger's bodyguards, I convinced one of them to talk. They put it in his food, a little at a time, so no one will suspect. <sighs> to make it look like he was sick, huh? They must have been planning this for some time. <sighs> How c could he? Hey. I know this must be hard, Evan, but we can- we have to keep moving. Come on. Poor Evan. Oh, man. These- these tunnels might go on for ages for all we know. Or maybe not. Alright. That must be the Ezek! Alright. Gotta watch out. We're in Ding Dong Well. That's like a little small reference from the original game, I think, called Ding Dong Dell, if I'm not mistaken. There's something shiny in the water. What is that? A pebble? Okay, don't exactly see how that's gonna be helpful. The battle area. We yes, mates, alright, here we go, we're actually gonna get into some action. When battle begins, the battle area will be established, and you will be temporarily unable to move outside that area until you defeated all the enemies and won the battle. To escape from a battle, move to the edge of an area. The escape gods will fill, and eventually you'll be able to flee. Returning to battle or taking damage will reset the gosh. Alright, here we go. Oh god, I just got hit. I just got hit. Alright, took a lot of damage than I expected, but uh, it's not bad. Wait, what's that stuff? Oh, alright, we got Gilders and an Iron Nugget. <laughs> It's so like Minecraft. There we go. And Legend of Zelda with the broken stuff. Got a bunch of iron nuggets. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to make an iron ingot. Alright. Got something over here. Another pebble. <laughs> I don't exactly see how pebbles are going to be helping us fight monsters, but eh, it's the game. Hey. Thought it'd be straight run from the exit once we made it down to the sewers. Seems things won't be that simple. I'm afraid not. We may no longer be in danger from the soldiers, but with all these monsters around, we we'll need to stay on our guard. You took to the arms band quickly enough, really. Why don't you see how you do with some simple skills? Huh? Skills? What do you mean? Mm. If you'd like to close your eyes for me... <laughs> Roland learned the flatliner skill. What the? Whoa. What did you just do? I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of casting spell on you that will loosen up a certain potential that lies within all of us. Now you'll be able to use any skills your weapons might have, which should make things a good deal easier for you in battle. 
Hold R2 to open a skill palette. Use circle, X, triangle, or square to activate the skills assigned to that button. Using a skill will consume a set amount of MP. I'm guessing that might mean magic points? Maybe? Each character will have a different amount of MP. Re representing by the MP Gorg that will gradually refill as your enemies attack. Furthermore, if the Zing Gorge of your weapon you're using is full when you activate a skill, the effort of that skill will be boosted and you might be different altogether. Activating the Zing effect in this way will reset the Zing Gorg to zero, so it's a good idea to keep a weapon with a full Gorg in reserve so you can swap it when it's needed. Oh no. I see. Interesting. So you don't have a head for combat. Get a few more battles under your belt, and you'll even learn more skills soon enough. But for now, let's try out what we got on some of these monsters, shall we? Alright, I agree. Right, let's see. That is if we can find any monsters. There we go. Ah, there we go. All party members HP is fully restored. Save your progress so far. Uh, why not? There we go. Alright, I'll do in save file number two. Saving. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go, mites. Wow, that's a <laughs> that's a pretty good uh time difference, isn't it? Yep. Wow, that's it's been quite a while, hasn't it? All right, see something else over there? Oh, yep, I see a couple other monsters over there. Whoa! All right. All right. Come on. Whoa. Okay, that's crazy. Whoa, she did a lot of damage to that monster. Whoa. Okay. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, victory. Right, we got a chest. Right, let's see what's inside. Oh, you teamed a broad sword. Whoa! Okay, Mike, so far we got 100% on um, a first melee weapon and uh, 92 on this one. Alright, let's see. Nothing's back there, but now we're gonna have to cross. Okay, here we go. The monster population has been markedly, uh, markedly more aggressive. Alright, I'm not able to read all of that, unfortunately. Here we go! Goes nothing. What? What does that do? Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty effective, I'll tell you that much, mites. Okay. There we go. Got all the loot. Alright, let's see. Anything down there? Um, I see something down there. Let's see. What is this? We got another iron nugget. There we go. <laughs> Who knows, Mike? Maybe at this rate we'll be able to make an iron sword in no time. Who knows? Right, there we go. I see another treasure chest, but we're gonna have to round the bend, apparently. Alright, let's see. Can I jump up here? Yeah! Right, come on! Ah, oh, damn. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see. Any monsters? I see. I saw a couple over there. Yep, I knew it. Wait, I see something over here. All right, let's check this out. Probably something else. There we go. More iron nuggets. Um, okay, let's see. Let's look at the map really quick. Um, let's just go on both of these corners since they are um, not going to really lead us anywhere else. Go, we got two guilders. Not bad. Wait, okay, I did get it. All right, here we go, mites. We got more skeleplasms. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Ah, there we go, Mike. Getting better. Getting a lot better. Whew. Nope. Um, looks like you're good as well. All right, let's see what's in the chest now. We got bread. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of delicious bread. Not bad. Anything down there? Um, nope, doesn't look like it. We got six guilders. All right, now let's go fight the other monsters inside the other side. Inside the other side. Try saying that five times fast. Three times. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Oh! Whoop! Look, what is that stuff they throw at us? Poison? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. And all my health is refilled once again. There we go. Okay, so I kind of remember this from the old gameplays I was watching on Sampy Long Nose's channel. Uh, the green one seemed to have... Um, refill our health and the blue one seemed to fall our uh, MP, which I'm assuming is just magic points, but it might be something else I'm just I'm um, trying to align it with the game. All right, there we go. Oh, we got more goo <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about 
All right. Let's hope she's right, all right? Looks like the door's open. What is that? It's just a giant fish? Kind of weird. All right, let's see. All that. And more tre treasure. I said almost said treasure, all right? Whoa, what the? We got a plan. We got some sore, all right? What the heck is this? It's like a giant fish head. Kind of weird. All right, there we go. Let's see, everything seems to be fine for now, but, um, who knows? Oh, okay, more goo and a lot more skeleplasms. We got a... a dangerous ratascular. Whoa! Ah, okay, that really hurt. Oh! Yikes, these guys really don't know how to play nice, do they? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Finish them off, finish them off! Yeah, oop, fell down, I'm okay. Not too much, but I'm alright. Just watch out for Evan. Yes, there we go. Got some more. Got a dollop of crude sap. Alright, sounds kind of gross when you think about it. Oh! Yeah, right. Like, like, like I'm gonna have her have all the fun. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, buddy! You might want to start using that shield. Just saying. Yeah, level up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and I got a lot more health. That's what I'm talking about, mites. 226. All right, let's see. We got some more iron nuggets and three gilders. Not bad. All right, any more stuff around in here? There is that treasure chest. So without further ado, let's look inside right now. All right. We got, whoa, is that a lot of 100 gilders? Oh, okay. So gilders are basically gold coins. I was wondering what gilders exactly were. All right, let's see. Anything... What is this? That's some iron nuggets. Let's see. Anything around here? All right. Wait. I found a Quizzo Rat... Rat Slicer. A Queasy Rat Slicer. <laughs> a Queasy Rat Slicer. I mean Rat Slicer. Queasy Rat Slicer. Ugh, that does not sound pleasant, no matter how many times you say it. All right, got some more pots. There we go. Let's see. Anything around here? All right, wait. We got a pebble. <laughs> What's a pebble going to exactly do? I don't really understand. Alright. Let's see. So, oh, we got some more enemies over there. Okay, that's the end right there. But before we do, I really just want to fight a couple more baddies, if you if you all wouldn't mind. So, let's go really quickly. Is there any way to run faster? Um, that's... Nope. Ooh, alright. So, they're both pretty high right now. They're both at 100. Whoop! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nope, I'm good. All right, I don't know what this thing is, but um, yikes, that does not look friendly, does it? All right, let's go back the other way now. What the heck? Is this just glowing? I suppose I, I, I guess it's just glowing. I thought it was something like cool, but nope, it's just a glowing rock. <laughs> All right, let's see. So on this side now. See, all right, Mike. This looks like it's Yezik. Nellage! I mean Nellage. Nella, the bridge. <clears throat> but how could this have happened? Looks deliberate to me. <sighs> which means they knew we'd come this way. <laughs> oh, dear. Much as it pains me, I'm afraid I must ask you to relinquish your life. <gasps> Mausinger? It is terribly unfortunate, I concede, but your illustrious line ends here, today. <clears throat> oh dear. There is nowhere to run. Come quietly and you shall not suffer long. I'll hold him off for as long as I can. Get out of here. Go. Now. Huh? But Nella... Just go. You are the kingdom's last hope, Evan. You cannot die here. I'm feeling some really bad energy right now.
Poor Nella. <sighs> we made it. Just. Nella! The Nella! We have to go back! We can still. No. Calm down. If we go back, we'll be captured for sure. And she had given her life for nothing. <sighs> given her. You mean she's. I. I think we have to assume that. Come on. We need to keep moving. <sighs> Alright, Mites. Check the update here. Away out of the waterway. Alright. But, Mites, for now, looks like, unfortunately, that's gonna have to be the end of the video. I really, really hope you can all forgive me for this. But, um, yep, that's about all the time we have for today's episode. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. And I have to admit, that was a pretty nice cutscene, but the ending was a little bit sad. Poor, poor, nah, poor Evan. Oh dear. But anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. And yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys.